morning. So today I am coming to you from upstate New York. I am in a place called Lilydale, and if you've never heard about it, here's what you need to know. Basically, it was founded in the late 1800s as a very small um, community for spiritualists and free thinkers. There's a lot of mediums and psychics here. So today my mom and I drove up. It's about two hours from where we live. And I'm gonna go see a psychic that my grandmother used to go see and my mom's seen him. So I'm very excited. This is gonna be my first time. It's actually my first time in Lilydale. So that's also super exciting. You can see it's a super cute community. When you get here, FYI, there is a gate. It's $15 per person. You can pay with card or cash. And from there, everything's pretty walkable. Um, so I'm just walking over to see the psychic now. I, other than the fact I would like another coffee, I am very excited to be here. Done with my reading. To be honest, I wasn't overly impressed. This was my first time seeing somebody on a professional level. I have in the past like been approached by people just randomly like out on the street and that's actually been very legit. Things that they couldn't have known that they knew. So I was really excited to go see this guy, especially because my grandmother trusted him so much. But I don't know if this is normal. So if you've seen a uh, medium before, please let me know in the comments below. Out of the hour that I booked, he spent probably about half of it talking about himself and his life. Kind of just felt like he was filling time. It didn't feel that particularly helpful. And it felt like a lot of the things he was telling me were things that he probably got from like context clues. I was not blown away. It's not somebody I'd go back to. I'm gonna go meet my mom and we're gonna go stroll around Lilydale. We'll see what else we find. So I'm outside the Lilydale Assembly Hall. This thing has been here 140 years, which is pretty impressive. There's no events happening right now. It's still just really cool to be here. And it's really amazing because I just found out there's a sign just over here that talks about the fact that Susan B. Anthony and Anna Howard Shaw, was that her name? Anna Howard Shaw spoke here in August of 1891 during the suffragist movement, which is so cool. It's just kind of added, I think, to how fabulous this place already is. You can see inside the um, assembly hall, there's got a nice couple little boards of history on Lilydale, including an article that Susan B. Anthony wrote about her visit to Lilydale and a photo of her with some of the mediums, so super cool. And as you can see, they've got plenty of space. So apparently tonight they're gonna have Tibetan monks here. Unfortunately, my mom and I are missing because it doesn't start until like 6.30 and we've got to drive home before then. But pro tip for you, when you plan your visit to Lilydale, book an Airbnb. There are a ton nearby and then you don't have to worry about the timing issue.
So now we're on a walking path. We just passed the pet cemetery and we're headed toward a stump. It sounds weird to be honest. I don't exactly know what it is other than the fact it's a gathering place and it's apparently part of what Lilydale's known for. So let's see if we can find the stump and we'll see what's so special about it. So I found the stump. This is the stump. Then you can see there's like an area for people to sit. So I'm assuming it's famous because, oh wait, what's on the ground? Hold on. This says something I think. Oh, they're just people's names. So you can kind of see maybe in the moss, it looks like these are like super old stones and they've got people's names on them. But this is the stump that everybody is talking about. And here's the gathering space. So I'm assuming when there's actually an event here, it's pretty cool, especially if it's at night, like I think it'd be really neat. Oh my God, there's a lot of mosquitoes though. I like imagine it'd be like very peaceful, especially if it's like a meditation or something happening. So I'm a little disappointed we didn't get to actually come to a gathering here. I think that's probably where the energy is really special, but it's still like a nice peaceful place to come and sit. For now, we're gonna keep exploring. Mm -hmm. 